Hello everyone, this is Neon. Welcome to Impromptu English with Neon. And today I'm going to do something educational again, like a few days ago. And this video is dedicated to some of the basics of Microsoft Word. So what I've noticed is that many of you, if not most of you, have many problems regarding the formatting of uh, API 7 or if it's MLA. So whenever you write a research paper, or if it's a term paper or even if your thesis so you make a lot of mistakes you have a lot of confusion regarding uh, headings regarding font 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 consistencies and alignment so today i'm going to address those issues so let me begin from a new okay so for example you create a new microsoft document and my document is Microsoft is Office 2019, so some of the features may be different from your versions. So first of all, what I do is that I select, I press Control plus A, so which selects everything that is in there. So now it's there's nothing there, but still I press it so that the default setting is always this. So I select Times New Roman, Times uh, font is 12 size, you all know this, and it's left aligned for for official and for academic papers, it is always left aligned for APS 7. However, if you're just simply taking notes, I recommend selecting this. And also I think business majors, their term papers, they have to be always be justified. And uh, so, but for our department, it's always left centered. Okay, uh, left aligned, not centered. And then the spacing, it's two or 1.5. So I'm selecting two. It's mostly double spaced. So now that if we have um, made the necessary default settings right, another way I want to show you is that you can also you could also have done this. You could have manually selected this like it's normal Calibri. So uh, I've already changed this, but you could have also changed this from here. But I don't want you to get intimidated, and that's why I did it manually because I th I did it like this because I think it's easier. So okay, so. Well, consider that it's a term paper right so first there is the uh, cover page which I'm not going to show you here but uh, imagine that this is the second page okay from the introduction so the introduction then there's literature review methodology right findings discussion conclusion so uh, I'll let me cut paste this because I wanted to um, I wanted to actually put this under as random text here okay so you are always want your introduction in APA 7 even in APA 6 it was in it was it it has to be center aligned and then selected highlighted or even just select oh no you have to highlight it first and then select bold so the first heading introduction is always in bold and in them and middle aligned so Mm. again I'll show you how I did this I didn't just press a lot of spaces to make it centered I selected this okay so first I'll just cut the space I selected this this is the center alignment so this is the introduction and if I want to if you want to make a table of contents I suggest you also uh, make this heading one all right but when you press heading one you you realize that uh, your manual the way you manually uh, s uh, made the may made that appropriate that has changed it has become blue colored blue color font it has become Calibri and 16 font size so I'm going to change this again lower the font size to 12 make it center aligned and uh, also you'll see that the spacing has changed right so it's a hassle to do it this way I'm showing you another way now and also you have to still make the make it double spaced again so it's a hassle so another way you can do this uh, let me do it again is that you just write introduction instead of uh, starting from heading one introduction you first write introduction introduction enter you make this center aligned you make this bold and then instead of clicking right, left clicking heading one you you right click it and then you select update heading one to match selection so the already the way it is you, you've already written so that will become the default uh, size and default font of heading one okay 
so that has become heading one and if you want to make this literature review heading to uh, one so you see it it by default goes uh, middle aligned it goes bold so you don't have to manually do this every time convenient right and also if you didn't know we always have to start left aligned uh, whenever we are writing in a, uh, in a APA format research paper format so we we select left aligned and then uh, these are, are our sample text I just wrote whatever I could uh, whatever I could type so anyway if you want to if you also want to make this heading one heading one right so these why is it actually why are they in heading one you can have this question this is because these are the main sections right under introduction you'll write something under literature review methodology findings discussion conclusion you'll write a lot of things so these are the main sections so under these sec sections you may have other headings so those will be heading two so it's not like this is heading one this is heading two this is heading three it's not like that everything that is the at the top at the under which all the other subsections come so those are those can be heading two heading three heading four so the main sections are they are always heading one all right so for example i'm choosing not to give any subsections to introduction you can of course give for example you can give the research question research scope uh, things like that but uh, for convenience's sake let me just give some subsections to literature review so this is subsection all right subsection one this is subsection two this is subsection three all right so we all want to we make uh, we want to make all of these three subsections to be heading two all right so first uh, you'll have to know how to actually make how heading two actually looks in apa 7 so it looks like this mm, and it's calibri for some reason let me make it times new roman font all right so heading two is times new roman to, uh, times uh, 12 size font and it's bold all right and um, and it's also double spaced let me double space it again you can do it double space after you have finished the entire paper okay you don't have to do it for every time so this is subsection one subsection uh, sorry this is heading one which is middle aligned and heading two is left aligned but also bold like subs uh, like heading one so we again do this to update heading two to math selection all right so again if you write something you uh, press a tab and write under section one section one section one section one all right so for example after you're done with subsection one if you have two more subsections like i have here so i i also selected uh, heading two heading two all right so same as same thing with methodology for example uh research design could be one subsection and then uh, data collection all right data analysis data collection procedure data analysis procedure this could be some subsections of methodology so these are also heading to heading to heading to all right so what if you want to also go uh, put some even more subsections under these research design under data collection for example if you want if you have multiple sources of data collection for example you've taken a you've administered a questionnaire and you've also conducted interviews all right so we need heading three why heading three why not heading two or one or four or five because this is heading two and under it is a questionnaire and interviews and there can be more for example observation classroom observation so if you have other forms of uh, things that can be uh, put as headings under these under a specific heading so, so you need heading three right so first you write something for example questionnaire right and then there are interviews observations all right we'll want to write uh, uh, data collection procedure for these three sub headings as well so since it's as heading two so these will be heading three first you need to know how heading three looks so again we'll have to we'll have to make these times new roman again so first heading three also looks like this bold but uh, they're also 
uh, italicized okay both bold and italicized heading 3 whatever you write in heading 3 the heading will always be bold and italicized and then once we've done that we select the uh, highlight this or we just put a cursor here and then we right click this again update heading 3 to match selection right easy right okay suppose you have if you have to go even further to heading 4 and 5 so heading 4 let me show you heading 4 starts like this it's bold uh, it's times new roman size 12 so i'm just writing heading 4 right and then you put a full stop and then afterwards you don't go you do, uh, the text that you write under heading 4 you don't actually go to the next line and start from here uh, let me cut the bolt you don't start from here okay no you don't do that rather you start from the very same line heading 4 you, you, uh, I have to cut the bolt again you have to remove the bolt right like this okay for the for headings 1 2 and 3 we didn't actually we don't actually write from the same line we don't do that we go we put in enter tab and then write from here both for heading uh, whether it be heading one two or three we write from the next line with a left indentation okay but if it's heading four or heading five we write from the same line so for example we want to make heading five mm, we put a tab we write heading five we put a full stop and then we select this part and then we bold it and also italicize it okay so heading four is in left uh, is uh, we write with a tab and we write it with bold and heading 5 we write it both with a uh, bold and a left indentation uh, I mean left tab indentation is that and then we also italicize it and then again we remove the bold remove the italic italics and then we start writing from the same uh, same same line okay so before I'm closing I want to also also show you another trick which is that sometimes if it's a thesis paper especially you'll want to do like this this is one this is two and this is 2.1 why is it 2.1 because under two there is a section that's why we put a decimal point and then we write one and then this will be 2.2 because it's under two but another thing not 2.1 it's separate from 2.1 2.3 and if there are three headings there like research design it's heading two so we methodology is three right so this is under methodology so that's why it's 3.1 and then un under methodology two not under 3.1 but under methodology so it's 3.2 but this, these three questionnaire interviews and observations these three are actually not under methodology but under specifically data collection procedure all right so these three are under this specific uh, subheading so this was heading two so this is heading three so for heading three we need uh, two decimal places 3.2 and then 0.1 you get it so this will be 3.2.2 3.2.3 all right so again i'm is clarifying the first the main sections will be one two three four five okay so this will be five oh uh, sorry four this will be five this will be six but if we have a section under findings for example we'll do it uh, findings we write whatever whatever so this is a heading so we'll make it heading two and since it's under four we put it we write 4.1 and then 4.2 is another heading all right but if we have a subsection under this 4.1 all right so under this 4.1 we will write 4.1.1 because it's after 4.1 it's with it's under 4.1 and that's why we put a decimal and write right 4.1.1 so something something then if we have another subsection under this 4.1 we write 4.1.2 okay so imagine so this will most probably not happen but imagine that there is a section under 4.1.1 okay so 
I'm just saying 4.1.1.1 and then again 4.1.1.2 so this will be like this there's actually an, an easier way to do all this which is you click here and then um, click here this one okay so this is the official this is the academic way we do this not this or not this if you can do this if you're taking notes or this 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 but this is the formal way to do this you select this and then automatically will you'll have these uh, you'll have this point point decimal point so we don't I can actually cut the cut my manual manually put once so see so again if you missed it it's like you put uh, you place your cursor on a heading preferably the first heading and then this one you select this and then this one 1 1.1 1 1.1 1 1.1 all right so finally if i want to make a uh, table of contents okay so another thing if you want to uh, put uh, page breaks after each each chapter for example for example you want to put a uh, start literature review from a different page I've seen many people do this that they put they they put a lot of enters so that literature review goes to another page however this is not the way to do this and if there are some changes in your setting versus the uh, if, if when you email it to your teacher if he or she has different settings then sometimes what will happen is that this will go a bit uh, up or down it may go like this or it may go above so actually it will not go it will not be in a different page let me revert So instead of this, what you should do is that you should actually insert a page break. You, uh, for example, after this line, after this line, you want to make it, you want to end the page. You go to insert and then you select page break. You go to a different page, right? So there's, a there's an extra page which you can just um, press backspace and then you're done, right? and there's a shortcut to this which is control plus enter for example let me show you another example for example after this you want to make a, a page break and start methodology in a different page okay so you just press control plus enter it's the same thing as inserting a page break if you want to want a shortcut and then, and then again you should just uh, press backspace and delete that extra space all right so finally the table of contents i press a control enter here and then i have an extra page here i go to references table of contents and then i select automatic table 2 you can select automatic table 1 but it's written contents instead of table of contents normally we always select table we always see table of contents written you can also actually manually create a table um, but i i don't I recommend you to do so unless um, you want to publish you want to go for publication and the institute when the journal may have specific criteria and in that case you have to sometimes make a custom table of contents but for now let's just select number two and then see it's automatically there if you have if you have um, selected these headings from the first or you can do it later on after you write everything if you have made these uh, if you have updated this then then the table of contents you don't ha actually have to type it out it will automatically be like this now you also have to update your table of contents if you make any changes for example uh, for example I just cut this introduction part for whatever reason but here you'll s still see the introduction right so you s you put your mouse here update table and then you see the introduction is gone again let me show you another example if I cut subsection 3 alright so 1.3 is gone so let me see but 1.3 is not gone here you have to actually click here click to update table and then you see 1.3 is gone yeah so that's pretty much it that's what I wanted to show you about some basics of Microsoft Word so yeah I hope you enjoyed it I hope you stay on my journey to become more fluent in English bye bye assalamu alaikum